Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new game. And it's been a while since I've actually just done a game like solely on my YouTube channel as like a Let's Play. And this is called Sorry James. This is a game I um, uh, got given a key for and was asked to play. Um, so a little bit about the game. We are James Garner, a security engineer at Mantis Core, a leading tech company in the weaponry field. You've got a usual task of decrypt company files, usually unusual is that those files contain bizarre chat things become weirder and you realize that your job is to hack love story is to hack a love story maybe so it's a non-linear story driven puzzle game which takes unusual step on storytelling you'll discover a plot through dialogues of two strangers and learn a tale about James whose role is to decrypt the files containing that chat along with creepy thriller and conspiracy atmosphere there is a unique game mechanic that remind, reminds mix of Sudoku and Minesweeper like gameplay alright make of that what you will guys um, anyway let's jump into this so I know what my login is I haven't got a login let's call me knock and uh, do I need to maybe I'm James Garner Maybe my password is Mantis. Uh, good start. I can't even. I can't even freaking log into the thing here. Great start. Can't even get over the first thing. Did I did I miss something? Let me like restart the game. Did I miss something here? This is bizarre. This is very bizarre. No, I clearly did not. Wow. There's no like instructions or anything of how to actually get in here. I'll be right back guys. Okay, so, I went back to the store page, and I can confirm that um, the password is actually saved. So, it's James Garner, underscore Garner, we're all caps, and then there is a password, we hit login, and once we've done it once, then um, basically it logs us in, and um, we've got this task here from... Maria, and she's asking us to do like this this weird stuff here. So let's do 30, let's type in the code here 31, 23, 51, 62, 90, 21, 45. Unlock. Okay, and Jim unlocked, we unlocked something. I've also got a chat here from Kevin. What's Kevin want? Kevin, not move that out of the way. Uh, remember Tom, that eccentric guy who was trying to prove that Sheldon was not real character? Uh, okay, I guess that's a Big Bang Theory reference. Don't watch it myself. Uh, it was ridiculous to listen to the person who work, whose work is his only girlfriend, but still. I didn't hear anything from him after he was fired. It's strange. I thought I was his only friend at work. Hope he's fine. Yeah, me either. Okay, so we have all these log files. We have a log file as well. Let's decrypt this file, shall we? Uh... Okay. Is is this the idea? I'm guessing I decrypted that file. H 
Hey, Bonner, are you trying to retur return my fucking... What, what the... Oh, my goodness. Uh, all right. Let's try and keep it. Can't... Well, that's, like, encrypted. Can't really read what that any of that says, so... That's kind of... Yeah. Weird. Okay. We got a, a perfect encryption, whatever that means. It's much easier with girls, getting along with girls is easy. Who's this person talking to? Happened at the party, my friends and I were celebrating the end of semester. Renton decided to treat us with a, with Rentonio that he was growing in his balcony. He called his weed that way. He gave his own names, a lot of things. That was my first joint ever. I was thinking it didn't affect me. I was taking a puff more and more. Next moment, everything went dancing. And I was with Renton's girlfriend alone. I thought it would be the only one of those awkward situations when you both sit and have no clue what to talk about. I wanted to say hi at least, but each time I went I tried to start talking. It was even more difficult than to get up early for work. But then I finally could say something. I felt like so much time had passed, it was seamless to say hi. So I sit there and I think that we have been sitting looking at one another for several hours. My hair hangs on eyes and try to fix it. And suddenly she jumps on my knees and starts kissing me. And the only thought in my mind was, did I say hi? And why didn't I feel my lips? Why don't I feel anything? Where am I going with this? Girls are much easier to find common ground with. A turn. A turn is something. I don't know if they're actually, I don't know if they're just like... I don't know if they, you can actually like make that out or not. I don't know. Anyway, let's look at the chat. Uh, Maria is typing to us. I recall that these files are private. I think I don't have to explain that they're not for reading, do I? Of course. I, of course I won't read them. Honestly. Okay, let's decrypt this one then. Um... Oh, wait a minute, I didn't do that one, do I? Do I? That's five. Do that. Okay. Yeah, I had a great time. In the end, we went to my place, opened a bottle of wine, I lied in the bed gossiping about everything until the very morning. It was so nice to talk so many things. We went through a lot with her, especially when we were trying to find ourselves. When she was doing karate, I was dancing. I haven't done so long. I'm pretty sure that I would look like a paralyzed house now, but I like it. We got tattoos together. Besides, she chose a tattoo for me, and I did the same for her. At first, I was thinking about something like orangutan ass on her navel, but I'd never do something like that to her. I'll show it off once we meet. Also, we tried to be vegetarians and promote cruelty-free ideas. We made a deal that one day we'll all climb a mountain range somewhere in the Himalayas. This nature, fresh air, active leisure, so much you can try out and feel refreshment of mind and body and get rid of negative thoughts. Hmm, okay. I wonder if we are gonna be able to like decrypt like the second half of these things as well. Be interesting. So, one, two, three. 
Okay, so if it joins... So if it joins, like, on that... It counts, but if it doesn't, it... Yeah, if it passes through a thing... Is what I'm trying to say. How is that possible? How is that possible to only have one there? That blocks this one from the corner, right? Oh, it's a... F it's a four, it's not a one. Wow. Don't I feel dumb. In all honesty, that looked like it was a one and not a four. Wow. Uh, okay. Despite I'm afraid of heights, I really love mountains. How do you spend your vacations? Like that, apparently. I could never think that adult... M I could never think that adult man could be afraid of insect. You can't do that. What negative qualities do you see in yourself? Actually, I'm just perfect. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I think I got my first and third ones as well. Maybe I will tell you later. Okay. It's kind of hard to, like, perceive this from, like, a... Um, like a, a single... It's hard to perceive this at the moment from, like, a, a single person's perspective. So I guess that's wrong. I guess if you get, like, the red thing, then that means you're, um, you're not going to get the perfect. With that girl, that was when I felt... With that girl, that was when I felt like that I lived. Live life to the fullest. Do you have such feeling? that this very moment is all you need right now. Maybe from such moments, maybe from memories. And you, do you feel yourself alive? It doesn't matter. I have to guess that it is so, otherwise it's... I don't know. Eliza, right. Eliza is, for those of you who don't know, is like a, quite a famous artificial intelligent like chatbot. Are we reading the conversations here from a chatbot? Some of the, the way the conversation is... Um, it's giving me that vibe at the moment. Don't know, just a hunch. Uh, as for the puzzles, though, I don't think, uh, I, I don't know, the, the puzzles aren't really too taxing at the moment. So what makes your, what's your, what makes your Mr. Boner hard? Oh, wow. Yes, girls have much more trouble with that. For example, lately I'm crazy about getting orgasms in public places. Uh, viewer discretion is advice. I have some sort of distinction. I can squeeze my hips using specific muscles and enjoy myself. It really turns on when you sit in the park, people go jogging around. They're all sweaty, and at the, that moment, you're sitting on the bench, jerking off. Meanwhile, on the next bench, a granny is feeding pigeons and, think, and thinking that I blush from catching her eyes passably. Probably that's not my only superpower, and what turns you on? What would you do with me if the screen and hundreds of miles didn't separate us? 
I like the way you think. Okay. Um. Definitely a two this time. It's a three. Reminds me of the jumping game you get. Is it solitaire? There's some uh, version of solitaire where you like have to jump over things, do different bits and pieces. Let's play a game. Rules are simple. I write three facts about me. Two of them are false. You need to guess which one is true. Okay, I'll start. I'm afraid of aging, beards, or porn. Why did you choose that one? Wrong. I'm afraid of beards. I'm guessing choose porn, maybe. What if there is some birthmark there or something else? It hides a lot of secrets. You go. You definitely have time to try yourself as a porn actor. So, paleontologist? Oh, so you were boring since you were a child. My turn, give me a minute. I had sex for the first time when I was 13, 18 or 24. What? No, I'm not from Japan. That's how it is. That's how it is. There's nothing strange about it. It's definitely not too late. You go. Haha, <laughs> you're weird, I like it. Hmm, something tells me that you're not, a, not one of those who waits until a wedding. Perhaps I'll choose never had a school love. Lucky, I had an experience with girls, two girls, girl and a man. And that was my first time. Well, we know she had an experience with girls, supposedly. Uh, what can I say? I have great friends. Oh, so maybe it's a girl and a man. Or two girls, who knows? Who knows? What does this thing do? Here, sorry. This thing does what now? clear on the concept. Oh, it switches. Oh, it switches the thing. Right, okay. I am no longer unclear of the concept. Okay, so it switches the, the lines going to it, basically. Okay. I don't even know. I really feel shame for my behaviour. Haha, did teacher notice your boner too. At least Mr. Boner is definitely a cool nickname. You see, it was the first thing I texted you. Probably that is why you thought we knew each other. Okay, I'll also tell something. I just remembered a similar story. Once when I was a kid in kindergarten, my friend taught me how to fond... Really? In kindergarten. Are you sure it wasn't a teacher? This is this is quite dark and creepy right now. Yep, right, in kindergarten, and there's nothing special about it. That was the first time I felt some kind of orgasm. We started teaching the other girls. We thought that we discovered something brand new that nobody knows about. 
And when we grow older, we will know a fortune with it. Ha! Only during the lesson, a teacher came in. Imagine the situation. Sleep time. I'm sitting on the chair in the middle of the room. Girls are sitting around me and I'm demonstrating how to do it the right way. I didn't feel ashamed of it. Of course, I didn't understand what I was doing. But now, and the teacher was my mother's friend. In short, I can't look her in the eye to this very day. I'm not surprised. Jeez, come on. What do you people in America do? Jeez. Get up to those sorts of things at kindergarten? Oh, that one's dis now they're disabled. What? Um. This is kind of weird. So... Okay, kind of works. It's kind of like a bit of a pattern there, actually. All right. I have another question for you. Have you ever been had a feeling that you don't know whether the body suit this body suits you? I mean, it does happen for. Does it happen that you see yourself and your body as two different entities? I don't know, Tom. I feel like, oh, Tom. I feel like I don't have a gender. You confuse gender and sexual preference now. Girls attract me because of other reasons, obvious. Fuck, I'm going to kill Peter and his cockroaches someday. They ran away. Got into the ventilation system. Everything overheated again and that I lost internet connection. In moments like that, I feel myself cut off from the world. If your Peter is a programmer like my Peter is an entomologist, then that's obvious that he didn't stay very long at your place. I kind of get the feeling that it is a chatbot because if she's saying things like... Um, the internet had gone and she was cut off from the world. Well, if she's a computer and she kind of like relies on the internet, then, you know, that would kind of make sense. I suppose. You have to be there, right? And that. That. Is that a one? That's a one. Ha. Huh. Interesting.
That's a four. That's a four. I just kind of feel like I'm at points randomly clicking. By the way, about my body, I'll tell you about my sex fantasy as I promised. As I wanted to try sex with an amorphous object so that it could take a, take any form, size, and have any number of limbs I wish. What is more, I could read it could read my thoughts and always do everything I wish and please me in the way I want. And I could change my genita genitals whenever I want, like to put on new socks. I'd bought him with my mat and he'd map me in his mat and <laughs> I'd grow the tentacle and jerk off with it. Hmm, pretty sure your girlfriend wouldn't appreciate your super speed. I wonder whether a girl would in such cases or not. I mean, if you're moving so fast that she can't even see you, you sh can she feel something during the process or she'll get everything after or she won't feel anything at all? That was a rhetorical question, but thanks for the scientific approach. Where have you disappeared? I have to go to dinner alone, two days in a row. I have a job to do. So maybe she got out of the hospital so quickly, maybe something important happened. Why was she in the hospital? Okay. This is pretty darn creaky, creepy. Uh, okay. I reload. Can I start again? Be that. That must be that. Okay. Alright, we're almost through this folder. Let's try and get through this folder before the end of the episode. I am sure that Mr. Boner wouldn't mind to meet me. I even know how to make it more interesting. I have a game for you, if you're not sleeping yet. Rules are very simple. You have three tries to guess the colour of my undies. If you guess, I'll send a proof. If not, your fault. Come on, first try. Nope, second try. Well, I see you need a hint. It's probably the most beloved undies for girls. Couldn't you tell something not so obvious? I don't like when you're stuck. You know what I'm saying. I can't help you. My turn. Sorry, I have no time now. I will go. I have to go. We'll text you later. Yeah, it's Peter again, upstairs neighbour. He raised his cockroaches and they ran away again. Yeah, it's all fine. Good night. Okay. This one. Ooh, I love stories about sex chats. Wait, wait. What did she ask you two uh, with? In the form of the Eiffel Tower? Blah, blah. In the form of the Eiffel Tower? Okay, go on. Yeah, sure, it's not the weirdest. How could I think so? So you're a unicorn, haha, -ha, with Eiffel Tower on the head. Haha. -ha. Oh, I don't have similar stories. Default set, dominating and humiliating. That's what I'm saying. Nothing interesting. However, once there was a girl who asked me to do it in front of her cats and to tell her where they were sitting, how they were starting, how they were staring at us, and everything like that. It was a bit strange. 
as for everything, as for even in sex chat. Two seconds, guys. Alright, guys, sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, this is getting very weird. Uh, very weird indeed. Let's look at the chat. We've got a message. What's your progress? We'll finish soon. Alright, so let's get this last folder done. Must be there, right? I'm confused. Let's reload this. I'm confused. Doesn't take a lot. Let's reload. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. All right, decrypted. Let's have a look to see what this one has to say to us, shall we? That was a perfect decryption. Of course, what's the question? I will say more. I, I will say more. Our conversations make me take a bath more often than you. Oh, my goodness. As for the bath, it's filling up. I'll go now. I'll read our chats. Yeah, I hoped you would offer it. I'm feeling really. Yes, it's so wonderful here. I'm wearing a light summer dress. It shines through the, in the moonlight. I'm looking at your lips. I want to feel them. Feel them on my body. Covering your eyes, passing your hair through my fingers. I'm so... I can't barely stand on my feet. I can't think about anything else. That's all I want. I can feel it. My goodness. It's gonna have to go there, right? I can only have one or the other. Alright, so, that one there. Nope, I was right. I was right before. That one there. 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 Something like that. Something like that. Have you ever had such relations? I mean, what's happening with us? As well, our time together gives me the creeps. It's gonna like end weirdly. No, how could you say that? Can I mock you a little? Maybe I like nerds like you. Didn't you think about it? You got me angry, buddy. I would jump on you and tear you apart right now. Ha ha ha. Yeah, me too. That's the first time in a while I'm feeling that I'm feeling happy. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to cut it there for the first episode. Um, the story is a little weird. Um, can I kind of like send that to her? Is that how this works? I don't know. Yeah, the story's a little bit weird. Um, the puzzles seem a bit just, like, clicky. So we'll see. It might get a bit better. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Please come back for episode two, which will be on the channel real soon. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.